Most people think when I'm up the stairs ringing or chiming the helicopter, they'll think, oh, it's a mechanism doing it. When in actual fact, it's a person still up the stairs doing it manually. Bell ringing to me is a very interesting hobby, as not many people in the country know many bell ringers, especially in Scotland. You're not just sitting there doing nothing, you're actually up doing a physical and mental challenge, as in you're having to remember methods, but then you're also ringing great big things that are made of bronze. The heaviest one we've got in Dunblane is one and a quarter tons, so about the weight of an original Mini Cooper. The Elecum is a device which lets you, basically you pull the ropes, you enable a ball underneath the bell, and when you pull them, the ball will then hit the bell inside, and you can ring tunes. For instance, I can do Darth Vader on the bells. The tower comes from the 11th century, so it's about 900 years old, maybe a bit more towards a thousand years. When you see it, the bottom parts are made out of this lovely dark brown rock. The upper part was built when the cathedral was built in the 13th century. The same person who designed the chiming mechanism that's in the Elizabeth Tower for Big Ben also designed the chime for Dunblane. The clock is automatic now, but it used to be manual. You used to have got there every day or week and stand there for hours winding this massive mechanism up. We still have the weights and some of the old handles that used to wind up. The bells are not cheap. I think St Big Ben was about £20,000 recently. Uh, that would be in today's money. So they're not the cheapest things in the world to buy. You wouldn't want to buy a full ring of bells if you haven't got much money. I do hope one day to go to ring in Liverpool Cathedral, which has the world's heaviest chain ringing bell with four tons, and also maybe one day be invited to St Paul's Cathedral in London where you have to be invited as they have such a high expectation of ringers.